Have you ever been really fit? Have you ever done some epic challenge where you've pushed your body to the limits? So have I. However, I've let myself slip. And today is going to be the day where I start getting myself back on track. So here I am. I've driven myself down to Lady Bower in Derbyshire and I've come as part of a personal test to see if it's possible to get back into competition shape for a couple of reasons. First being a 48 hour non-stop walk and then in September I actually signed myself up for a 50 mile fell race um, through the Lake District which I've still got to raise £100 for uh, as it's a charity place. But first you might want to know the background behind my own story. My little boy Jack lost his life laid on my lap at 15.10 on the 10th of February. He had DIPG which is it's a terminal brain tumour affecting kids. He was given a year which luckily, given the circumstance, he got. Other than the insane grief and stress and anxiety, disbelief and the fact that I'm really missing him, we all are. My problem is this, we've lived every day like it's been our last. We've been off a holiday in, we've eaten out, We've lived every day to our fullest. We've relaxed, we've enjoyed ourselves as much as possible. And that has started to take its toll. There's been far too much food, alcohol, as I say, meals, eating whatever the hell you want and when you want to eat it. Knowing that it's bad for you, knowing that it's bad drinking, knowing that it's bad for you. But doing it anyway because why the hell not? I've stagnated. I'm aching, I'm tired, and I'm unfit on top of everything else. I'm at a crossroads right now. Either I carry on doing what I've been doing this last year, but we all know where that kind of lifestyle will lead us. Or, book my ideas up. I get stuck into some healthy lifestyle choices. I've always been a bit of a doer. I like to keep myself busy and this is my new goal. Hopefully it will keep me on the straight and narrow and although it's quite generic, setting myself challenges to be able to achieve both of these challenges I shall be using as an opportunity to raise money for Isabel's Appeal. Um, just That's just one of the people that helped us out. So as you can see, I need to go from zero to hero, pretty sharpish. And I'm starting by walking 16 miles, pretty much, around the Lady Bower uh, with my dog Waffle. Um, I'm going to be walking in sandals uh, because I need to harden the skin up on my feet a little bit, as gross as it sounds. Uh, ready for this long 48 hour walk, what a nutter. I'm also going to throw in a little bit of a surprise, which given the weather, it's going to be uh, quite bracing. As you can see it's a little bit moist, um, best get going then. <laughs> About a mile and a half, two miles in, feeling good. Not very far at all, is it? <clears throat> yeah, I've had a few stones in me uh, sandals, so I've had to wash them out in stream. Feel good now, though. I think that's the bonus of having sandals on, actually. If you get a stone in your shoe, you can just boot it out and you can wash your feet to cool them down. Versus getting hot feet in your shoes.
nearly there now. Heading towards seven miles, I think it is. Can't be far off anyway. This is where I am. Right, so just a quick update then. I'm at the plunge pool in um, at the top end of the Lady Bower, um, slippery stones they call it. Uh, and I'm in. I know all not a minute large and whatnot, but that would actually be suicide if I jumped into there. It, it wouldn't be a case of living life on the edge, I would be able to eat it. <laughs> um, I had a funny idea to get in the water and um, swish around in the bubbles. <clears throat> I thought it would have looked hilarious to be honest, but I'm not worth risking my life just, just so that it can look funny. Which sounds pretty lame. I am on my own, if I did get into any struggles then. Um, so yes, yeah, so I think I'm around seven miles sort of point and it's been so easy. I'm going to just walk back. I think I'm going to walk back the way I came because the the other route is all road and I forgot it wasn't the weekend so the road's open to vehicles which means that every couple of minutes my dog will be running off. Right guys, that's the end of the walk basically, I've got a couple of minutes down that way to go. Um, that's really good. Easy as hell. Struggle to drive it. It's kind of just wobbling off. 